What's up, everybody? This is James Jackson. Welcome back to another video. This is another how-to tutorial, and I am super excited because I get the chance to do to show some color grading on right now is definitely one of my favorite shows if not one of my favorite shows and of course the star wars and that happens to be for andor uh if you and i know there's not some people watching andor but i'm telling you right now if you're not watching andor you have to watch it it is an amazing show it's really really great and i cannot encourage it enough the cinematography on this thing is just absolutely spectacular uh, but today we're going to be going over um, I'm going to sort of color grade and get the ferrex look which once I pull up uh, which is this shot right here and I'll turn this off for now but I'm going to basically create this look and before we do this we need to set some clarity we're, you know you can't just turn every single image to make it and then you'll get an exact replica we're not going to get an exact replica but we're going to do something that is essentially going to uh feel like it's part of the world and this will be our final the shot we will be uh turning in and and i'll give you the step by steps on that and but there's ways that you can if you find images you find images familiar you're able to sort of help sort of get it, especially if you got sort of the environment. And these images, uh, this images that we're seeing is brought to us by ArtGrid. And as I've talked about ArtGrid a lot, it's one of my favorite little, uh, it's one of my favorite places to get stock footage and places just to test and test, uh, test footages and color grade because it's got all types of professional cameras from Reds to Aries, and you get a lifetime of the license footages. So some places you don't get a chance to hold it after you cancel your subscription fee. Art Grid is not the case. You download the footage, you purchase footage, it is yours for lifetime. So that is definitely great about that. And one of the great things is they also provide ways for content for filmmakers. So if you become an Art Grid filmmaker, you can basically get rewarded monetarily through them at the... Uh, at the end of the year. So I definitely say right now, sign up for our grid if you haven't done so. But let's get back to it right now. So let's, so this is the shot we're gonna be using. I, it's, I've turned it into a still frame and I've duplicated. So we're gonna basically do everything from scratch. So before we do that, we gotta understand what is gone through with the and or look. And that's why I'm gonna pull up the INDB. If you're ever trying to recreate something from a, from a show, it's best to try to get the IMDB uh, about it and try and find the technical specifications. Uh, let me and let me just see IMDb. Uh, let me see if there's. I'm trying to find, but uh, I, I don't know if I can find the technical specifications here. But I do know for a fact from finding it on IMDb is the fact that this was shot on Alexa's Ari Alexa cameras. So. Basically, we want to try to ha get first get this into an Ari Alexa look. The second thing is the color space and how the color grade. It doesn't say it on IMDb, but here's the thing. Um, if you're familiar with Disney and the way Disney productions work, Disney pretty much is full, which is the owner of Lucasfilm, which is the owner of Star Wars, which is, you know, who creates the show Andor. They are completely, fully, 100% in the Aces pipeline. <coughs> Excuse me. So you want to first make sure you set up an ACES uh, through line. So I'm gonna have some things open up here. So I'm just gonna set this as, um, I'm gonna label some things first. So we're gonna label this uh, correct, uh, corrections. And then we're gonna set this as, um, we're gonna set this as primaries. Then this we're going to set as our CST, which may seem a little bit early, but I'll get to that. Because we're gonna again, we're trying to we're gonna to try to convert all this into the Ari Alexa. Then we're going to go and put in our ACES. Uh, we're gonna do ACES uh, transform. 
after that, we are going to put it, we're going to start building our uh, grade. And then I'm going to make a layer node. So we'll be, so where we're going to do our skin tones. And then finally, I'm going to go through the final aspect of this through Dehancer because Dehancer is one of the best things. Uh, if you haven't, again, got a chance, I absolutely love Dehancer. And you'll see later on why I love it. It's great to get more of that film look. So before we get to our primaries and our seconds, let's take a look at this shot. So first thing, oh, first thing we're going to look at is the waveforms because we got to, and I'm going to turn on the uh, film palette because this is a really great way to gauge. The first thing we want to notice is that everything is in that upper left quadrant of the color of the color wheel, and you'll see it even here that basically it's up here, but it's also not very saturated. The shots are not very saturated. It's very neutral. There's a lot of, it's very nude uh, based onto it. And then the other thing we want to know is see where things are. So like if we look at, like this is still like more of a shadowing because he's under, he's in shadow. So the skin is typically around here, but if we were to, uh, looks like right here, which is somebody's skin, they're like basically under 50. They're like in the 40s. So we want the skin to be in the 40s. And if you also, if we look at our highlights, the highest points, they are about 80, 850, about 850 with the highest peak going just above 900. So we're not stretching this all the way. So we just want to make sure. And then our blacks are, uh, the, the deep black parts are almost to the point of crushing, but they're not crushing. So these are all things to understand before we go into it. So the first thing we're going to do is go into our color space transform. So by the way, this shot right here is the Black Magic Pocket Cinema Camera. Uh, this is the 6K, the Pocket Cinema Camera 6K. So what we're going to first do is turn this into, uh, first we're going to turn this into actually we actually we need a one before this so we're going to go before this and we're going to add another color space transform so we're going to go black magic pocket cinema camera gen 4 5 and then we're going to say black magic pocket cinema camera 6k gen 4 and then we're going to convert this to the re wide gamut 3 and our rl log c so we're going to just turn that right into log C. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go RE log C, RE wide, RE log C, three. And then we're going to go from that to ASIS, AP1, and then we're going to go to ASIS CCT. And then once we get that in, we're going to go from ASIS, we're going to put in the ASIS transform, and we're going to go convert the output to 709, and then we're going to put this into ACES CCT. And that's basically where we have it right now. And as you can see, this is where we have it right now. Now we got some corrections we need to make. Uh, first things first, uh, we want this part right here is a bit blown out. So what we need to do is get our uh, exposure correct. So let's pull the, so the gain, remember, it's not just under, not, it's just a little bit under here. Let's look at, and let's look where their skin, where their skin is. Their skin is really, really hot. So we wanna pull this gamma down, right? And we wanna see if we can try to bring this co contrast down a little bit and we're gonna pivot down here. So the skin tones are right about there. And then we're going to pull the lift down. So already I will say right now we're in a good working stop, but we're going to get there. The next thing we need to do is sort of look at correct, look at the, the colors. So again, let's look at the vector scope. As you can see, there is money over here, but look at, we notice there's a lot when we can look at his skin, 
The skin is definitely more on the green quadrant and sort of the area here. It's like a lot of green and a lot of yellow. So what we're going to do here is we're going to, uh, we're going to pull this. Now we're going to correct this later, but we're just, actually no, sorry. That is incorrect. Forgive me. What we're going to do is we're going to make sure our balance is correct because we're just right now just trying to get things properly set. And right now this looks pretty good, but uh, I want to see the black points a little bit off. It's a little bit too much blue, so we're going to pull the blues slightly down. And then we're going to add some cyan. Because again, right now we're just trying to get an accurate look. All right. So that we can sort of just get a nice balance, white balance off, which is all right, we're good here. Uh, and then I'm going to try to see if I can recover some of this back. I'm going to go to HDR and I'm going to work with the original color space, which was wide gamma 4 and pocket 6K Gen 4. And what I'm going to do is try to go to these highlights and see, and let's see what we can do to get some of these highlights back so they're not stretching. To the point, all right, we got what we can. And actually, and let's actually go back to the game. We're going to bring this up because we want that up, but we don't want this to be too high. Okay. So we're all pretty much set here. The next thing we're going to do now that we're in the ACES transform, we're going to get our look. So again, we were in the green. So what we're going to do is we're going to shift some stuff to the green and we're going to add some yellow, which means we got to take away some blue. Not too much. And also let's add the color pal. And let's look at the waveform. Let's look at the vector scope. Also, it's a bit too saturated, so we're going to pull the saturation down. And the other thing we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to try to unify some of these hues. So we're going to go to the hue versus hue, and we're going to bring some of that together. So we're going to bring, we're going to rotate the green more into the yellow. So there's more of a unilateral aspect to it. And now, and this is good, and it's probably better that we just take this off right now so we can see it. I probably should have done that. And let's go back to looking here. So it's good. We're getting that look and feel. We're getting closer to there. Let's get more. Let's go here. The hue versus hue. So yeah, let's rotate this. That's too much. Let's dial this back. All right. So we have that. Now we're going to go in and we're going to add our skin tone. Now we're going to add the skin tones in. So we're going to just take our qualifier and we're going to fade this part in as well. So, and then we're just going to make some adjustments to this. Soften that out. Let's see, again, we're just trying to get as much of the skin as possible. Let's get, and then, and then let's just denoise it just a little bit. I think that's for right now. That's a good. That's a good bet. So what we're going to be doing here is because you can see again. We cast in one, it's a, we want to bring, so we want to bring the saturation of the skin down 
We want to make it a little bit cool, which is cool right there. And as you'll see here, that looks, that looks pretty good. But eh, let's see here. Uh, feels like there's still a little bit less. Uh, there's a little bit too much cyan, so we're going to add some red into this scene. Just a little bit. Too much. Let's dial that back down. Just to counteract some of that cyan that's in there. That looks, be that looks better. So that's how it's set up. Now we're going to go into Dehancer. Again, this is, now this is an additional plugin, but uh, I, to me, this is one of the best things, and we're gonna, it's going to really amplify and really help bring the whole thing home. And you'll see in a second. So because we did this, we don't have to put any camera input. We're just going to treat it like the 709 that it is. So one of the things I want to do first is add a little bit of, tonal contrast that will help sell that grit, that grit. And then I want to bring the white point up because again, we're trying to bring those highlights up a little bit. And then just ever so slightly, we're going to add some color tonality into it. And let's look at it before, where it was flat, after. You see all the, you see how much of a difference, just a little bit of that color tonality before, where it's just had, it was definitely a bit more flat, after. Dehancer, and it's just these little tools like this that makes it way more in line. And if we pull up, and after this, let's go here, let's find that film palette so we can take a look at our, so we can take a look at our, how it compares to, the input, so let's look for film palette. Uh, color palette, sorry, color palette. And if you look at the color palette, now there's some, there's going to be some differences because it's not going to be exact, but if you look at this, we're about in the same ballpark. I would say the shadows are a little, maybe can be a little bit more fluff. But we're in the ballpark range because you can see all the tonalities. Uh, the highlights can probably even, we can even probably go into the highlights more and, so, and uh, desaturate those a little bit. So let's actually do that. We're going to go, let's go to the highlights. And so we're going to go to, I guess we'll use this. Actually, uh, let's, sorry, let's reset. We're just going to turn the hue, saturation. We're just going to go luminance only. And we're going to just only get the, high, the highlight portion. And we'll just soften this off just a little bit. We only want the highlight portions. And we're just going to, and we turn, and let's add that color palette back in so we can see. We're just going to desaturate uh, the color palette. And then if we go back. And we'll go over here. I think that looks pretty cool and pretty much in line. Again, he's right now in shadows, but if we look at the other levels around, because again, the scene is a little bit different, I think this is a good good look to get that ferrix look anyways this has basically been my tutorials hopefully you guys enjoyed this let me know leave your comments below and as always make sure to hit that subscribe button and until next time take care everyone